students welcome to today's session this is shweta roy your english master teacher at vidantu and today we are going to cover a wonderful chapter a very enjoyable chapter because we are going to deal with someone who became invisible right so the name of the chapter is footprints without feet which is by h g wells and it's an excerpt taken from his novel is the invisible man okay so from the title itself you can very well understand that we are going to deal with a character who had made himself invisible that makes the story very enjoyable right so do let me know what would you have done if suppose you invent something which would uh, which had made you invisible okay so do let me know right now in the chat box below and yes so let us uh, without further uh, ado let us begin with this chapter let's enter into the and yes uh, one more thing that i would like to highlight here is the name of your supplementary book is also footprints without feet right so yes make a note of that as well so why is it called footprints without feet so see because the character called griffin who was a scientist which we are going to encounter his adventures right so he had developed a potion developed a magic i mean what should i say it developed a formula who which had made himself invisible right so that reminds us of mr india have you seen mr india how many of you have watched mr india do let me know in the comment box in the chat box right uh, right away so when he made himself invisible and whenever he used to walk on muddy path right so his footprints could be visible because of the mud however the person uh, the feet of the person was invisible right so that is why uh, the title that that actually talks about that actually justifies the title footprints without feet right so only the prints could be uh, visible and not the feet of the person right so let us see what adventures this person called griffin undergoes and also let us uh think about the fact whether we also would like to do the same as griffin had done in the story so that we will come at the end of the that we will analyze at the end of the lesson and i'm going to ask you at the end of the lesson about that as well so already uh, i think you have already mentioned what are you going to do let's say if you become invisible theek hai so in the first session of the story that is uh, today we are going to one second uh so we are going to have an analysis of the entire story right so today we are going to deal with the entire story and the next session we will see the question answers important question answers so let us begin with a wonderful quote which is quite meaningful and relevant and connected to the chapter that we are going to study okay so let's see how it is connected i fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction the world will have a generation of idiots who is who is saying this albert einstein so uh, albert einstein was a great scientist but he says that if technology surpasses our human interaction then what are we going to ha- uh, you know what are we going to uh, have we are going to have a generation of idiots why do you think he says so why do you think if technology surpasses human interaction then we will uh, be left with a generation of idiots to let me know your inputs on this in the chat box right now with that thought in mind let us proceed and let us see how this quote is quite relevant in the chapter that we are going to read today so the story begins when the two boys watched in surprise the muddy footprints suddenly appeared out of nowhere so from here we can understand the title footprints without feet so only the footprints were visible when they watched another footprint suddenly appeared right so it's like just footprints and nobody so obviously they were shocked and then curiously they followed the footprints however as they followed the footprints the footprints grew fainter and fainter and finally disappeared and there was a simple explanation for the mystery of footprints which i have already revealed at the beginning of the session the footprints belong to our character the main character of the story uh, around whom the entire story revolves that is griffin so griffin's character sketch very important he had a, he was a scientist who had discovered a way to make his body invisible 
So as I told you, this reminds of Mr. India, although Mr. India received the formula, but here he is preparing that formula himself. So question for you guys, who was Griffin? Quickly let me know in the chat box right now. With that, let us proceed with the story. How uh, after carrying, so how did he discover this amazing formula? After carrying out multiple experiments, he finally found out a pill which successfully made his body invisible. So what did Griffin discover is your next question. Do let me know in the chat box right now. Moving ahead, Griffin, though smart, so he was a brilliant scientist because he had developed a formula which had made him invisible. Although his body remained solid like a sheet of glass that is also mentioned. Although he was a brilliant scientist, but what was he? He was a criminal. So important for character analysis. He was a brilliant scientist, but was a lawless person. He set fire to his landlord's house just because the landlord wanted, wanted him to leave the house. So in order to avenge on the landlord, he had set fire on the landlord's house. So that was the kind of person that he was, right? Why did Griffin set the house on fire, set his landlord's house on fire, okay? okay? Why did Griffin set his landlord's house on fire? Please do let me know right now in the chat box and let's see whether you are paying attention. So, and, and at the same time, you're revising again, right? Okay. So Griffin, after he said he had set the house on fire, he became invisible. Of course, he had developed the formula that by that point of time and he became invisible in order to escape. And now he was homeless without money and clothes and he was also invisible. So uh, although Griffin managed to outrun the boys, of course, the boys couldn't fi find out. But his adventures are actually starting from this point. It was cold in London and Griffin was without clothes. So at this point of, you know, biting cold in London, he was not having clothes. So if he, if he wears the clothes, then he would be visible and then he would get caught. So of course he was, he was homeless, he had no money and also he had become invisible and he was without clothes. So he couldn't afford that in that period. So he thought, let's break into a store so that I can escape the cold night. So he, when the store closed, Griffin indulged himself by dressing himself in warm clothes. So he broke into the store and he had a gala time over there. He had all, you know, the clothes. Uh, and then he got food from a nearby restaurant, wine from a grocery shop, well clothed and well fed. So he was, as I told you, having a gala time over there. And finally, he got, a, you know, quilt and he fell asleep in the store. And then he was discovered in the morning by the store assistants. So the only way how he could escape was to take away his clothes and run as fast as he could, just the same way as he had escaped after setting house, uh, setting his landlord's house on fire. Question for you, what did Griffin do to escape from the store assistants? Very simple. Do let me know in the chat box right now. Moving ahead. Now, he was again, uh, you know, without clothes in the cold winter. And then he decided to go to Drury Lanes. Why? So question again, before we enter into uh, his, you know, uh, more, more and more adventures and what did he do when he went to Drury Lane? The question is, where did Griffin, sorry, it should be go. Where did Griffin go next? Right? Quickly, let me know the answer in the chat box. Now, Drury Lane housed different theatrical companies. So, he actually wanted to completely cover himself. Right? Because the uh, portion from, you know, uh, above the shoulder, the portion, the gap here was remaining uncovered. So, if he is dressing... He's just dressing uh, in his body, but his face is remaining absolutely blank. So basically, he is becoming a headless man. So that would definitely rouse the curiosity of the entire, you know, uh, uh, place, uh, all, of, uh, all of them, right? So that is why he wanted to have a covering in his face. So he found the false nose, 
dark glasses, whiskers and bandages and thereby he covered himself entirely and now with that he could easily become visible and invisible according to his own wish and according to his you know own convenience and when the shopkeeper came to the shop what did he do he attacked him from behind and also took away his money and escaped so then definitely uh, now we have came across till now we have already come across uh, we have already come across how many incidents of his uh, you know lawlessness two incidents three incidents right so you can see how he had completely uh, he was a brilliant scientist but he took advantage he misused science and technology to fit his to suit his own purpose right so what do you think about this do let me know in the comment section right now what shows griffin's criminal nature so we i already discussed three episode three incidents so to point out those three incidents discussed so far in the comment section below quickly 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 all right next is sony realized that london was a place which was quite busy and he did not want to arouse the curiosity of the other people so he wanted to move to a place with less population and thereby he selected to move to the iping village now before proceeding further and looking at the adventures in iping village and what happened next i'm going to uh, take a little bit of break okay let's take a break and let's talk about something which is very important for all of you that is yes your education right so how is your preparation going most of you i saw uh, after conducting a research after conducting a survey problems that you face are first doubts you have so many doubts not a reliable source to cater to your doubts right notes no proper notes tests and assignments also you need but even if you have you are not able to solve because your concept is somehow not getting clear competitive exams you want to crack but you are not having the proper guidance choice of schedule choice of language being the other major issues that you are facing yes or no guys so don't worry we have come up with the solution of all the existing problems that you are facing so doubts it's no longer going to remain because we have class teachers we have a special team to cater to only and only your doubts guys along with of course the master teachers notes after each and every session assignment after each and every session tests also we conduct along with the performance report so that makes your revision absolutely complete plus we also have 200 plus mock test papers and 50 plus live courses competitive exams also we take care of choice of schedule choice of language completely flexible and according to your needs and bonus features micro course which is going to take care of your chapter wise you know problems if you have any problem in any chapter you can just avail the micro course of that chapter for free crash course is going to make you exam ready performance report is going to help you to understand where are your shortcomings and help you to and definitely we are always there to help you in solving all your problems with the help of our different courses like micro courses long term courses and of course we have a specialized team for solving all your doubts in class live plus the personalized attention which all of you crave for is only and only possible in our platform which is not even possible in youtube so yes visit what do you need to do just visit vdnd.in/ytpro that's it and you will have the options of choosing your grade choosing your board checking out the details where you can tally each and every detail that i have mentioned and click on get subscription so after you are satisfied with whatever we i have told it is there so yes then you click on get subscription you have three types of subscription one month three months and six months so the best is definitely for six months that is highly recommended because you actually it is more cost effective cost friendly right because one month if you pay for six months you end up paying more than what you pay all at once for six months 
last six months is definitely a standard duration you all need in order to you know complete your course right and uh, in a structured way right so that is very 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 important and after application of the coupon code this is the amount that you need to pay which comes to nine rupee per class not even more than that right per class so that is quite cost effective guys quite reasonable and quite affordable and we also provide you all the six subjects guys yes all the six subjects and a balance between all the six subjects equal importance to all the six subjects is the only mantra to solve uh, to to get more than 90 percent aggregate all over right so that is what is provided in our platform so what you need to do is just visit vdnt.in slash yt pro and the coupon code is swrepro in order to avail 15 percent discount you have to apply this coupon code guys so do not forget to apply this coupon code all right so now we will resume our story and let's see what happens in iping village so when he goes to iping village obviously by looking at such a man whose face is filled with bandages it's going to arouse everyone's curiosity so everyone starts talking however he gives an excuse by saying that he had met with an accident so yes and we also encounter mrs hall over here who is another important character Mrs. Hall. So the character sketch of Mrs. Hall is equally important. So Mrs. Hall, when uh, you know she, when she sees this uh, scientist for the first time, she also starts to uh, she makes an approach, friendly approach. However, it's completely rejected by uh, Griffin, saying that he needs solace and he needs tranquility. That is what uh, that is the uh, that is exactly the reason why he had come from Iping uh, from from the busy place of London to Iping village in search of peace, right? So he wants to be undisturbed, and uh, he always paid uh, in advance. So that is why Mrs. Hall was satisfied by saying that he is an eccentric scientist, and he excused everything. He ex she excused even his irritable temper. Uh, by thinking by only because of the fact that he had he always used to pay in advance so from here we can understand the character sketch of mrs hall and the first encounter that we have uh, with mrs hall that suggests that mrs hall was very money minded right so question for you guys who is mrs hall quickly quickly tell me in the chat box below right now moving ahead for a short time, he enjoyed a peaceful time. And then what happened? Soon his money ran out. Soon after, when his money ran out, and he he uh, he, and he also said that uh, he accepted of not having ready cash at hand. And soon what happened? There was suddenly a curious incident at the clergyman's house. What happened? At dawn, the clergyman and his wife was awakened by noises in the study. And the clergyman quietly entered the room to catch the intruder and he was shocked to see that the room was completely empty and only uh, he heard the chink of money being taken away but there was nobody there. It was shocking and throughout the day he kept on saying that this was an extraordinary affair. So he called this what? An extraordinary affair. Okay, so this can be asked in your question, what according to the clergyman was the extraordinary affair, right? So this is what was the extraordinary affair, that there was no one, but still he could hear the sound of his money taken away, right? What was the curious episode that took place in the clergyman study? Very, very, very important can be asked in your question in your paper. So do mention this answer in the chat box below. Next that day, Mrs. Hall and her husband were surprised. So they were surprised to see their guest's room open. And then they attempted to check in Griffin, uh, Griffin's room in his absence. However, the moment they entered the room, Mrs. Hall heard a snip from behind. And suddenly, a hat flew at Mrs. Hall. And finally, the bedroom chair also became live and it rushed to attack the couple. They rushed out of the room and then at 
the same point of time, they also heard the news of the robbery at the clergyman's house. Question for you guys. Why were they surprised when they opened the room? Quickly do let me know. And this entire episode, the clergyman episode and this entire episode which happened with Mr. Hall, Mr. and Mrs. Hall in uh, when they went to inspect the room of uh, Griffin is also very, very important. All right. So, furiously, what happened and after that, what happened, uh, if, uh, you know, everybody uh, got to know about the, the, the news of this uh this, this robbery of the, at the clergyman's house spread, right? And everybody was started uh, to, uh, everybody started to suspect, of course, Griffin because he was a man of strange appearance and everything started after his, you know, arrival, right? And also he produced cash, even though he said that he does not have ready cash, but still he, he produced cash after this incident so naturally everybody started suspecting and also mrs hall directly you know uh, directly encountered griffin and she said she asked him okay she asked him how did you come out of the empty room and griffin was of very irritable nature so when he got furious at mrs hall's question he immediately took off his bandages and the couple was horrified and then they, everyone was staring at the headless man. Everyone at the bar was staring at the headless man because he had already removed all his bandages. And then Mr. Japers, he, uh, the constable, he arrived, right? And so who was Mr. Japers? Another character we have, Mr. Japers, right? Question, who was Mr. Japers? Quickly, quickly tell me in the chat box. Mr. Japers was dutiful. So character sketch of Mr. Jeffers. Okay, beautiful man. And he tried to arrest Griffin. But obviously he had removed everything. He had start he had started to remove his clothes in order to become invisible. So Mr. Jeffers was getting invisible blows and fists from here and there. And he he was trying his best. He was determined to you know catch a man with or without head. But started uh, when he started to remove his clothes and he was uh, Mr. Japer started receiving invisible blows and fists, the task became impossible. He got hit by invisible blows and poor Japers was knocked unconscious. And finally, Griffin at the end managed to escape. So now tell me, guys, what would you also have done the same thing? If you were in place of Griffins and you had discovered something which uh, discovered a formula which had made you invisible. And do you think what Griffins did is correct? Do let me know in the comment section right now. And as uh, uh, you know, we began with a quote by Einstein where he thought that if we are uh, completely overtaken by technology, we will have a generation of idiots. That is also quite relevant because this, the entire chapter is talking about the misuse of science and technology, right? So when we actually, science and technology is something which helps in the advancement of human civilization, right? So if the person, uh, you know, on whose scientist is a person on whose shoulders with great power come great responsibility. So Griffin had that power, however, he, became irresponsible right so if that person who is carrying out who is having such power he also has the responsibility of the future generation if that person is becoming irresponsible and he is making he is actually misusing science and technology then what is going to happen with the human population right what is going to happen chaos is going to be the final result you can also take the example of the recent pandemic. Don't you think that this is also a misuse somehow of science and technology? So there is a great responsibility, uh, you know, great responsibility uh, we have, all of us have on our shoulders. That is to take our nation to the path of, you know, advancement. And if we misuse science and technology, we are going to, you know, uh, be disadvantaged rather than 
uh, moving ahead, we are actually moving backwards. You have already seen with the pandemic how far, how backwards we, the entire world have moved, right? So what are your thoughts about misuse of science and technology? Do let me know in the comment section and do let me know how far do you think this chapter also somehow deals with science and uh, misuse of science and technology. And in the next session, we will start with the question answers. And this is your homework question. Analyze Griffin as a brilliant scientist, but a lawless person. So from here, we are going to start off with the next session. And yes, if you have loved the chapter and if you also think that this is not just simply dealing, this is a story which is not simply dealing with the adventures of a person called Griffin, but it also has a powerful message for all of us, then do like the video and do share the video because the more you share, the more aware the people of this generation is going to be right the more people literature is the only medium uh, of actually changing your opinion of molding your opinion and also to make you aware to make you farsighted so farsightedness is something which is very 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 important so do share this with everyone so that we develop a better world and we start making the change from now thank you so much do not forget to hit the like button and do uh, post your valuable comments in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. See you in the next session very soon.